There he is. 61. How dare you? We will take you down. Yes. Good to see you again. <laughs> I would not begrudge you your victory the last time that we met, but I am anxious for another round. Ooh. Okay. So he starts to siege our castle, and then he says, It is a pity that we must come to blows. Yes, that is rather devious of him, isn't it? Yes. Okay, well, we start in a riverbed, so that is not the greatest spawn area, but... Hopefully we're able to... Oh, no. Yes, I might as well just continue the charge now, as... We are having to deal with a very close spawn of the enemy. Okay, come on. Ah, oh, damn. That was a bad attack there. Come on, let's be more accurate, Bruce. Let's do it. I'm not very good at actually fighting at night. It is rather disconcerting, to say the least. Yeah. I do like the scenery, though. Look at that moon. And the stars, yes. <laughs> okay, go on. Yeah, we're doing some very serious damage with our pole arm now. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. We can take these guys out a lot faster than this, surely. Okay, I believe that is it. Four enemies remaining, yes. And then we may get to take him prisoner. I'm actually half tempted to just continue with the Oda clan until we have taken over the entire map because I have not actually done that before in any of the series I've done so it may be somewhat a nice change perhaps to perhaps become marshal of the faction in question because we do have a very high relation with the Great Lord and our renown is just going up and up and up so you never know, we may actually become Marshal at one point or another, and that would be pretty cool in my opinion. Then we could order all of the vassals around and perhaps launch large-scale warfare against the enemies. Yes. So now, Bruce actually leveled up, which is somewhat rare, i got to say, but now we are going to spec into Intellect once again. And one in riding. Oh, wow. We actually have a load of skill points. Okay. And now we have what else to spec into? I think tactics and pathfinding would be a good idea. Hmm. Okay, yes. We're going to go for tactics and inventory management because I just love inventory management. Hmm. Leadership. Hmm. No. That is okay. Okay, so we're going to get back into archery because obviously I need as much help with that as possible. Now, before we engage this particular enemy, I am going to upgrade that one troop. And now... Okay, he is rather injured, so we should be able to take him out rather simply. Let's do it. Yes, yes. Okay, so we only have 83 troops fit for battle. He has 99, so we are outnumbered. But I'm hoping that we are in a really good spot here because we are actually on a hill. And this should be good enough to take him down with our massive archery skill. Hopefully. Yeah, 12 shot difficulty right there. Oh, yes. Come on. Do better, Bruce. Come on, we can definitely do better than that. Oh, yeah. Come on, we can do a headshot. Oh, no. They're all charging us. Okay, let's charge, guys. Go on. Cavalry charge. Infantry charge. I'll leave the archers on the hill here. We do have a primarily archer force, actually. I had no idea that we had so many archers. Oh, my. We may be a little bit in trouble here. Not too sure. We may see. Hmm. No, it doesn't appear so. We seem to be doing not too badly at the moment. It may all change once they get reinforcements, though. Although, I'm not too sure whether this is their entire force. I hope so. <laughs> 
Go on. Let's actually do some damage. Okay, here we go. We have reinforcements coming in now for the enemy. And I have totally lost the timing for this pole arm for whatever reason. There we are. There's the timing. Okay. We are still fighting at night. Unfortunately, I do prefer fighting in the daytime. It is a lot easier for our archers to see the enemies. Yes. And we just lost an elite spearman. That is going to hurt. Well, we do have quite a few of them, so it shouldn't be too bad. And, as you can see, I am obviously charging them right now. Hopefully take them down even further. And let's tell our archers to charge in as well, so perhaps they could pick off a few stragglers. We never know. Yeah, how dare you shoot me? Yes, that's what you get. Nanbu, samurai archer. Oh, yes. Yes, take him down, guys. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, one enemy remains. And I have the honor of the last hit. Oh, yes. Okay. We're getting not too bad experience, actually. So, I'm very happy with that. And we are getting some nice renown rewards as well. Six renown, 15 morale. And he escaped, unfortunately. But, now we are able to bolster our force which I am amazingly overjoyed to see. Oh yes, I believe we can actually take all of these, so I don't have to be picky. Oh yes, this is great. Oh yeah. Now, I do want to go to Kanazawa as quickly as possible, so we can hopefully put these prisoners in our prison tower before we get under siege once again at one of our newly conquered strongholds. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the date clan is good at, so if you know, then please leave it in the comments and then I'll make an effort to upgrade them into that particular unit, but for now, I think considering we have a lot of archers and gunners, I'm going to upgrade it into spearmen. That is probably going to be the greatest effect and greatest assistance for us. Now, what did I actually want to do here? Yes, I wanted to go to Kanazawa and check out the aha uh -huh, we've made peace with the date clan that's fine and check out the prison tower hopefully it will be built soon okay manage the garrison and then we'll put all these guys in there yeah we even captured a lord very nice okay so let's see here yes they are upgrading our units with trainer now the only unfortunate thing is I am actually running out of money so thankfully we did actually pick up quite a lot of useful loot that we can sell for a lot of money oh yeah oh yes I increased my inventory space that's good okay so I actually wanted to use one of these horses I believe. I think it was this one that was actually good. Yes, 21 armor. Yeah, that is a beast of a horse. I like that a lot. Okay, so there we are. Now we have 5,000 mon. That should see us through for another couple of weeks, I hope. And now, Toyama Castle has come under siege from one of the vassals from the Orange Clan up here. And there they are, fleeing us. How dare they? Okay, let's do it. Nope. Come on. Yes. How dare you. And even has the audacity to ask us who we are. How dare you. Okay, we have 109 against 60, so we should be perfectly fine for this particular battle. So, let us set up once again, once we get on this hill. Unless they engage us rather quickly, which they may very well do. Okay, so let's get our cavalry out the front here, get some spearmen as well, and then I will attempt to shoot a few, perhaps. Let's do it. Come on, archers. Oh my goodness, okay, I headshot a horse, but that unfortunately doesn't give us any skill proficiency. But there we are, we actually hit someone, yeah. Let's get some more archery skill. Come on, Bruce. Oh yeah, there's a nice headshot. Come on. Oh yeah, another headshot. How am I even doing this? This is complete luck. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, I think I can probably send my cavalry and my infantry in now. And we're going to go in with our Naganata. 
Or maybe with our two-handed. I think we might want to skill up our two-handed a little bit now. As our polearm skill is rather amazing. And I absolutely hit no one in that entire charge. I think it might be because our units are way too effective at killing things at the moment. Oh my. Okay, come on. Come on. Take him down. Okay, so the two-handed isn't as effective, but I am gaining some proficiency. Which is not too bad. It is a lot faster as well, and um, perhaps easier to use. And there we are. We very easily vanquished him. Hopefully he will think twice about sieging one of our newly conquered fiefs once again. Okay, let's take the loot that is worth it. Yes. Okay, we have some soldiers to level up. And yes, continue with the spearmen, and I believe we'll go with retainers for that, as I do want some more cavalry. Now, Matsukura has been besieged once again by the Great Lord. Oh, this will be quite a battle, I believe. And I'm actually going to wait here for some time and wait for him to enter the castle and we will defend it from the inside. And yes, I did actually have a quest to go and meet the marshal, but I believe that my particular objectives were a lot more effective. So we're going to go for him on the battlefield instead by the looks of things because he left before he entered and sieged the castle.